Letters, brought to you by E3 Spark Plugs, born to burn. Hey guys, welcome to Letters. Now, I want to remind you that if you like the show, go to facebook.com slash motors TV, or if you want to follow us, go to twitter.com slash motors. Now, something really cool is going on here. E3 Spark Plugs is hooking you guys up with free spark plugs for your ride. All you got to do is go to the Motors TV homepage and click on the letters button and send in your letter. If we select it for the show, well then E3 will send you a free set of spark plugs for your ride. Let's get on to our first letter. Now, Roger writes, Hey Chris, first of all, I want to start by saying I love your show. I'm a huge fan. I really like all your videos, but have you ever thought of maybe using older cars or maybe a more common car like a Honda Civic in its mid-90s? I would love to see that. Thanks, your fan, Roger. Well, Roger, we actually used a Honda Civic in Season 3 for an E3 Spark Plugs episode, so you might want to check that out. But as we move forward, we'll be sure to include more imports such as Toyotas and Hondas on the show. We've already got some plans, so stay tuned. Now, Speedy, aka Sergeant Payne, writes, I have a new 2010 Mazda 3. I like the car side, but it doesn't have the power I'd like it to have. I need more power. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do anything to terminate my warranty at this time. What could I do for more power, yet keep my warranty? Well, Speedy, you can add an air intake kit. You can add a cat-back exhaust. But I'm afraid until your warranty expires, you're not going to be able to do anything to give you that noticeable difference that you're looking for. Now, Rico Haney writes, Hey Chris, I've got a 2010 Mustang GT and I'm looking to change out my stock exhaust. I'm not really looking to get real loud, just want something that's a little bit deeper but still retain that classic V8 sound. Do you have any suggestions? Well Rico, we've had good luck with MagnaFlow. It's one of those exhausts that sounds real quiet when you want it to be, but loud when you don't. Now Marvin Johnson writes and says, Hey Chris, great show. I own a 2002 F-150 Harley-Davidson, which is ready for its first tune-up since I've had it. It has 65,000 miles on it. I read on some blog that after you do a tune-up, you must have your truck dyno-tuned. Is this true? Well, Marvin, unless you've changed something major inside your engine or to the computer itself, you don't have to do a dyno. Now, Michael writes, Hey, Chris, I'm a do-it-yourself type person and love working on cars just like you. Your show has taught me a lot on how to do things on my own. I always wanted to have my own shop, maybe start with oil changes, tire rotations, spark plug changes, and later move on to bigger things. At first, I didn't know changing an air intake and an exhaust was that easy. My question to you is, what would you recommend me to do, or do you have any advice? Well, Michael, you can check out an automotive tech school like UTI or Wyo Tech or a university. Michigan has a great automotive program. Or you can just check with your local colleges to see what they might be offering. And finally, Luis Rodriguez writes, I changed my old spark plugs to E3 spark plugs and it's running so much better. Thank you for the recommendation, Chris. But I recently had to give that car back to my parents and I got my own car and all it's missing is a set of E3 spark plugs. Can you help me out? Well, Lewis, I sure can, because if we use your letter on the show, E3 is going to hook you up with a free set of E3 spark plugs for your ride. These things are born to burn with their diamond fire technology. Now, to learn more about E3's technology or to see if they're available for your ride, just go to e3sparkplugs.com.